Okay, let me take you over by the door. I have a box of ammo ready to go. And you can tell right here, it's just team match. Okay. These are all seated, because this is the first match I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. So I have from here to here, they're all seated. From here to here, they're long. So I always like to seat the night before. That's one trick that I do use. If uh, I always see them long, if it quits shooting or it starts to open up, I can always just see them a little bit longer. And because uh, the only cause or the only reason that it would cost to, for the uh, guns start to open up is throat erosion. So you got to chase the lance. So that's why I always like to see them long. That way it gives me a choice to see longer for the next day. And for example, if you have any leftover ammo, you can always shoot that, you know, some other match and you can test different seating depths. If you seat it all beforehand, you don't have that choice. All right, so here's my ammo. So here's my brass already prepped. I have 185 pieces plus the uh, 100 or so that I have in that other box. So it's 285 pieces of brass. I only need for the entire match 150 plus ciders uh, or 160. We're doing 160 shots, uh, 40 for team and uh, 120 for, uh, no, we're doing 100 for score for the championship and we're doing 40 for the uh, team match. So I only need 140 plus ciders. I like to take a minimum of five ciders per string. So that's another 25. Uh, 25, 30, 30, so that's 170 rounds that I need, minimum. I'm taking 285 just because that ammo over there, uh, it's slightly different powder charge. And uh, they were both shooting really good, but I want to give myself options. I don't know what the weather's going to do. And we'll get into that some other time. But for now, that's why I'm taking that much ammo. Plus, if I have which I will have leftover ammo. I can always use it for the next match and I'm already preloaded. That's another reason that loading long is a good idea. So, all right, so now we're gonna prime all that. I use this RCVS hand primer. These things you can buy for like 30 bucks. I've used these from day one, never had an issue. Uh, I'm using a uh, Federal 210 Gold Match. So what, a, these are kind of a pain in the ass. Can I say that? I think so, right? I mean, we're buddies, right? <laughs> uh, so I, I like to only do about half at once, otherwise you can't fit the whole thing. It's not like the CCI, CCI you can fit the whole hundred in this, in this uh, container and then just flip it over like like this I'm not gonna take them out but you know look how small these things are they fit perfectly inside of there so I put them there and I just flip it or actually like this and then I flip it lift it throw it away and then I have all my primers in there however these are CCI's so different rules apply so Back to the CCI. I like to do 50 at a time. Put it on there, flip it, put it down, and then you know you shake it around until they're all facing the correct way. There it is. Put your lid on here. Now this lid it's, it's I like to say that it's for demonstration purposes only. This thing comes off so freaking easy. So what I like to do is I like to put some tape on it because it will, I mean, you set it down, you, you do, I mean, hell, you sneeze, anything, this some bitch comes right off. So, and then there's primers all over the floor. So I like, you know, once I do this, I put a piece of tape here. 
piece of tape here. I don't know if you noticed, but I just dropped the freaking primer. I'm gonna put it right here because I don't trust it anymore. Okay, that's that. Put this in here. Okay, when you push it in, it pushes this black piece this way. And then it has problems feeding those primers. So push it in and then with your thumb, push this thing back out. Hold the sides like this. And then you start priming. Now, here's another tip. My brass is always upside down until I'm ready to prime. Once I prime it, it goes right side up. Okay? Once it's right side up, I know it's ready to go. And that's what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime all these. And uh, then I'll show you how to load it. So, I guess you get to watch me do this for however long it takes. So, sit tight, go get a drink, do whatever you need to do. Or I can just speed it up, right? So, why don't I just do that? Well, it looks like speeding it up also sucks, so. Let me just get all these done and then I'll come back and show you the next step. How about that? Okay, so I have all the brass primed already. Now we need to load the ammo. I always keep a towel over my uh, powder thrower and trickler so I don't get any dust in there. I'm gonna plug it in. That's a nice glow, ain't it? A green glow. Now the Prometheus has a small lever on the side that when you're not using it, you're supposed to disengage the scale so, because uh, so it doesn't wear it out. It's 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 supported above the uh, so the beam is supported. So anyway, you're supposed to do that. So before you use it, you bring it down, put the cover back on, okay, and it's ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to verify. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to verify the weight. So, uh, well, before I do anything, I put some powder in the trickler. Okay? And then I'm going to verify the weight. down because I'm going to go check the weight and behind you I have my uh, sartorius scale and as always the weight is dead on so I'm going to put more powder in here I'm going to fill it up put the, the phone back on the uh, on my scale and uh, I'm going to fill this up with powder and then we're going to load some ammo You'll see that I use these red cups a lot. I mean, they come in real handy and you can always just chunk them out. So, everything's ready. Let me get some bullets. I get these, my daughter actually, she helps me. Uh, these have all been sorted and I'll show you how to sort them some other time. So they've been sorted, trimmed, and pointed. And we'll do like 2,000 at a time. And they're, you know, we keep them in, these cases, uh, brass cases, they're full of sorted bullets and they have a lot number on them. And uh, this number is, uh, is the number on the uh, sorting tool. So anyway, we'll talk about all that some other time, but for now, that's what I'm going to use. I use a hydro press. 21st century, get my good chair, put them here, 
And another thing that I like to do is, I'll show you. I'll use these. I use these inserts. Uh, these are from these boxes. Okay, that's what I use for loading trays. And uh, you can always call who makes these MTM, and you can buy these inserts for like five bucks each. Uh, when I used to shoot a Magnum, I had nothing but Magnum, and then when I went back to the Shehane. Uh, instead of buying all new boxes, I just called them up and they sold me the inserts for five bucks each. So that was nice of them. Okay, so we got everything ready to go. The die, I backed it off 50 thousandths because these are going to be loaded all along. And uh, the purpose for that is, uh, like I said earlier, you know, I like to see them long and then I can always. Uh, Seat them to the correct depth later. So, all right, here we go. This is uh, pretty simple. Take the first one. Okay. By the way, if it's the way I do this, if it's from perfectly center to to this first valley. It's okay. If it's below that, uh, then uh, I just throw it back and start over. There's about one kernel from this peak to this valley. So, you know, this thing is super precise. It just it looks like a lot because it's magnified, but it's hardly anything. So, all right, so I throw the first one. Okay. Make sure you look in here, make sure all the powder goes down. So anyway, here's my bullets, and you can tell this thing's ready with another one, and you know, I'm not even ready, so put the bullet in here, put it here, and watch my PSI. I don't know if you can see that, but these are all really light, so all the light ones are going to go in the front, okay? Uh, another thing is I always keep two of everything. I have another uh, press here. Why? Because, you know, when I sit down to load ammo, I need to make sure that I get it all, all done. So I always have two of everything. I don't have two of those. I wish I did. <laughs> but the point is, if I'm loading ammo and something happens to the press, a lot of times they, well, not a lot of times, but I've had it happen before where it starts leaking. And if it leaks, Obviously, it's going to mess with your uh, settings. So, so what I do is, if, if that was to happen, I take it off, put the new one on, and then I'll send this one to John. And I've, I've had to do that one time. But anyway, that's how that works. So this thing's ready to go. Load the second one. See, these are all very light. So they're not even registering. But, you know, you can't pull it out. So these are fine. Again, all the light ones are going to the front, and these are all, they should all be the same. I like very light neck tension. I mean, light enough to wear. Uh, it's light, but you still have a good grip on the, on the bullet. You can see how fast this thing is. I mean, it's, by the time I, I seat the bullet, this thing's ready for me to, to go again. And right when I say that, it's lagging behind a little bit, but there it is. And that's all I need to do. So I got, you know, 185 more to go. So, looks like this thing got stuck. If it gets stuck, just spin it a little bit. Sometimes those kernels get, you know, bind it up a little bit. So, I'll do this 200 or 185 more times. And that's all there is to it.
Now, let me tell you a little bit about the Prometheus. The Prometheus is not a scale. It is uh, what I would call a uh, powder dispenser. You can't really tell what the weight is by looking at it. That's why I use a scale to set it up. So when I do my uh, load testing, I use the scale. Once I come up with a good load, I, uh, I set up the Prometheus to throw that load and uh, then I'm done and then I never like to mess with it again that's why it's covered up this is set up for F-Class only for my 24 Shehane uh, when I do my PRS rifle this is the Texas State match so the next big match that I have is Nationals and that's why that's another reason I'm loading an extra 100 rounds of ammo or so so that I can go and do some practice in the meantime or some load testing um, but anyway, uh, once we're done with, with this match, I'm going to set this thing up uh, for my PRS rifle. Anyway, let me load all these and then uh, I'll show you the next thing that I'm doing. So, I started on the second box. I want to show you how... I sort them on this block. These are five PSI and this is uh, below five. Yeah, there's five right there. It goes right here. There's another five. Five again. So anyway, that's why I use this block, and I don't put them directly on the uh, on the box because I want to sort them, and I still want to sort them left to right uh, because if I have to go to a different bullet box that has a different measurement, then I start all over and I put these in the front, and then I do the rest. But typically, I try to start with a box that has enough bullets. See that was 3 PSI. So this one I'm going to put right here. So anyway I, want, I like to start with a with a box that has enough to do the entire batch uh, just because they're sorted. That's five again. I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> 